All right, hello, welcome to um, your weekly video announcement. I just wanted to go through and say for week 11, you're finishing up the scarcity of fresh water unit. Um, that is due tonight by 11.59 p.m. And then you'll move into week 12, which is all about um, colony collapse disorder with bees. But I really want you to look at the broader picture with this and look at um, pollinators in general. So um, there's a lot of information in there specifically about bees. And we are definitely seeing colony collapse disorder with our bee population. But we're also seeing some drastic uh, reductions in our butterfly populations as well. So if you were to go out and look for a current event related to um, to pollinators in general, you will see some information out there about um, the monarch butterflies and what's happening with the monarch butterflies. They definitely don't pollinate as many of our food crops as bees, which is why we do focus more on bees. But really, in general, all of our pollinators are at great risk. Um, and there's lots of reasons around that that you're going to explore within the um, week 12 learning module. Uh, pesticides, the use of pesticides, um, climate change, they're saying could be a factor. There's something called a varroa mite, which gets into the hives and infects the hives and is also found to cause some um, reduction in the population. What I really want to focus on in this video announcement is your signature assignment. And so um, I hope that you're enjoying the materials. Like I said, the issue around um, the scarcity of water, I think, is always surprising to a lot of people. Um, we don't think about water as being a scarce resource, but remember, this is a global class. And um, on a global scale, water is definitely a scarce, scarce resource. And there were some resources in there that actually talked to you about some things happening in the United States around water. Um, water. So like I said, what I really want to focus on is your signature assignment. So it is um, time to start thinking about your signature assignment. We are actually two weeks away from your final draft being open um, before you, you need to submit it. So it's a good time to start thinking about what topic you're going to choose. So that's the very first thing that I highlight here is that you need to be thinking about choosing a topic. And you will navigate to, let me come there with you, you will navigate to the week 16 learning module. And when you do so, you'll notice that there's a wiki there for you to actually sign up for your um, topic idea. So if you scroll down, the only thing that will be made available for you right now is this sign up for signature assignment topic. And you'll notice there's a little table there. So when you click on that, it's gonna direct you out to the wiki. You'll notice there is a little table. In order to contribute to this wiki, you'll click the little edit wiki content and that's gonna take you in here. And then you can start filling in your information. Um, so as you can see, like I've done up top, I'll just kind of repeat what I've got up there. Um, you're going to list your name, your topic. Topics include really a wide range of things. So if there's something throughout the semester that um, has been really interesting to you that you want to explore further, um, that we've already covered, or there's something that you've come across in your current events that you want to continue to explore, really just choose something that interests you. So you're going to give me the name of your topic. So let's say you're going to focus on food waste. Um, and then the brief summary of that, you can talk about the fact that Statistically speaking, 40% of our food is wasted. Um, and how can we, with a growing population, continue to combat um, these issues of hunger, um, shrinking farm sizes, so we're trying to produce more with less. And is this issue of food waste the answer? If we could really look at maybe composting, only buying what we're actually gonna eat, uh, maybe smaller portion sizes, like what is the response to this um, global food issue? So once you've contributed to that wiki, you'll scroll down and hit submit. I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel because I don't want to contribute to it, but that will show me what topic you're thinking about doing for your signature assignment. Um, and then I can review that as I'm going through and doing my grading so that I can let you know whether or not your topic is on track and if it looks like you have really a pretty solid idea to be able to um, contribute to that. So your poster is 11 by 17. So a lot of students think, oh my gosh, um, what does that mean I need to do? 
a lot of people simply open PowerPoint, <clears throat> open up PowerPoint, and then they allow a blank presentation, this right here, to be the structure for their poster. This prints exactly in 11 by 17, so you don't have to worry about converting the size or doing anything like that. Um, if you decide to use Word, Publisher, one of those programs, you will have to adjust your page size first to that 11 by 17 size before you start designing your poster. Your poster components, as you can see here, um, your poster components should have your topic. So somewhere on your poster, you should be able to see what that topic is. So here you can see that this topic is about food waste. Um, it gives you a brief summary of what the topic is about. And then there's information that supports the information. There's information that rejects it. You wanna make sure you talk about the ethics. And then you also wanna talk about your final thoughts or ways that you can contribute to um, the solution if you do think it's a problem. Um, so I have embedded some examples of some posters for you to look at. So this first one is just a picture that's embedded within the announcement. The other two are PowerPoints that you can actually click out to, um, to, to view. So I would encourage you to look at those so that you do have a general idea of um, some, some topics and some posters that people picked um, in the past. So that is your poster assignment. It is your signature assignment for the class. So you do want to, like I said, start thinking about that. Your um, week 15 module, you will submit a rough draft. So like I said, I would encourage you to start working on it just so you have a general idea of what um, you're going to kind of put together. Because in week 15, you will submit a rough draft. And then in week 16, you will submit the final draft. Know that when you submit that rough draft in week 15, I will make sure that I go through and give you some very specific feedback and critiques um, so that you can make any adjustments that you need to prior to submitting your final version. Um, the last thing that I just want to know, want you all to know um, is we have just finished leg one of our family road trip. So we've been in New Meadows for the last three days in a cabin. It's been super wonderful, but now we're heading into leg two, which is um, up to my husband's family's ranch, um, which again, doesn't have cell service or internet. So I will be offline actually until Sunday. So we're staying there until Friday and then we're heading out to do some camping at Winchester Lake and then we'll head home Sunday night. So you will be um, on your own for week 12 where you're learning about pollinators. And then um, when week 13, opens you'll also um, be on your own just a little tiny bit until I get back Sunday night again just like last time when I was gone if you do run into issues you have problems concerns still feel free to email me and know that I will get back to you I just won't have any um, service until I get back Sunday night I hope you're all having a wonderful week um, I hope you are enjoying this topic around the scarcity of water and I hope you really love this next topic, it's actually one of my favorites around pollinators and colony collapse disorder. As always, if you have questions or concerns, let me know. Otherwise, have a fantastic